Last week I taught you a NLP technique called switch to help you change those old negative patterns, making them into positive ones. Today I want to teach you another technique that you can use to help you anchor in positive feelings that you can use in a variety of different ways in different situations. Anchoring is one of the fundamental tools of NLP, which can be powerful in helping you to have more confidence, more enthusiasm, feel more relaxed, um, can even be used to aid sports performance as well. It's a simple way to allow you to change an unwanted feeling to a resourceful feeling in a matter of moments. And then it's a tool for you to continue to use and build on. When you create an NLP anchor, you set up a stimulus response pattern so that you can feel the way you want to when you need to. In the NLP anchoring, the process of associating an internal response with an external trigger so that the response may be quickly, easily, even convert covertly, naturally accessed just whenever you need it. Anchoring is a process that on the surface is similar to the conditioning technique used by the behaviorist Pavlov. He created a link between the hearing of bells and the salivating in his dogs. By associating the sound of a bell with the act of giving food to his dogs, Pavlov found that he could eventually just ring the bell and the dogs would start to salivate even though there was no food being given at that moment. In the behaviour stimulus response conditioning formula, however the stimulus is used, it's often based around an environmental cue and the response is always a, about a specific behavioural action. The association is considered the reflective part of ourselves because no matter what our choice is, we're allowed to give ourselves this greater positive achievement by being more in control of how we feel in certain situations. In NLP, this type of associated conditioning has been expanded to include links between other aspects of experiences other than purely environmental cues and behavioural responses. If we get a strong calming effect or an instant positive mindset in situations that used to have maybe a negative response, this can make a massive change to how we feel and respond in certain situations. Using this technique can help you achieve lots of different goals, helping you to become a better version of yourself. The pleasure with this technique is that you can make it perfect just for you. How you respond and react to things designs your anchor because it's all about you as you create this. A remembered picture may become an anchor for a particular internal feeling. Maybe a voice tone may become an anchor for a state of excitement or confidence. A feeling can be an anchor so we can trigger that relaxation within us as we remember the feelings, the images, the connections to relax in. It's time for you to choose to establish the trigger that connects those deeper associations which work for you. Rather than being a mindless knee-jerk reflex, an anchor becomes a tool for self-empowerment. Anchoring can be a very useful tool for helping us to establish a reactive positive mental process associated with creativity, you know, learning, development, concentration and other important resources. Let's just look at what an anchor means to us. It's when a ship is attached by the members of the ship's crew to some stable point in order to hold the ship in a certain area 
and keep it from floating away. This is exactly what we'll be creating with your anchor. The implications of this are that we, we're creating this solid cue that serves as a psychological anchor for you to use and over time also enhance. Anchors serve as a reference point which help us to find a particular location on this experimental sea to hold our attention there and keep us from drifting away. Imagine what it would be like if you could go in a moment from feeling anxious to feeling decisive and absolutely capable. Right in the middle of a stressful situation, maybe in an interview or conflicting situation or anything that could trigger stress for you. The anchor would be perfect and it's an ideal thing to help you deal with those sorts of stresses. Also, it helps with a whole range of things. And I'm going to show you how I use my anchor. I use this technique to help me with my tennis game. I'll use this as an example so that you can see just how it's done and, and you know how to set this up yourself. First, you need to choose a way to use your anchor. My anchor, I use my thumb and my first finger on my right hand. That's my anchor signal. And when I squeeze those two pads together of my thumb and first finger, that is my anchor. That's me connecting to all the positive things. It can be anything, even like squeezing your ear or putting your tongue on the roof of your mouth. It doesn't matter. It just needs to be something you can easily access when you need to. Then I spent quite a few weeks while I was playing tennis, after I'd made a good shot or I'd had positive plays over a shot or a game I'd played, then I would squeeze my fingers and thumb together and just think in that moment about that shot, that serve, that point, that game, etc. how good it felt to have played that way. And I continued doing that many times over. This over time has allowed me to build up this positive association with the anchor and my mind over playing well. And it's all stored in this one place when I squeeze my thumb and first finger together. I can access that. You don't have to wait weeks to build up your positive things. Say if you want to instill calm within you, you can also do it just by just remembering all those times when you felt super calm and relaxed. Spending time 